Yo, what is going on guys? It's Cyberhorn 92 here. I just um, came back from Chicago. Hope everyone have a wonderful day. So recently I went to the Chicago National or the Championship Series, you would say. Um, yeah, so I pilot with Brandon Eldridge. I was thinking about playing Eldridge for a second because sight is a thing and so many hand traps. But then after that, um, I do love the Peter Eldridge, but like it was, I feel like it's kind of slow and just wanted to play a bunch of traps. I didn't want to personally like it at all, but um, yeah, so my final decision at the event, I played Brendan Eldridge, and yeah, so my record day one was seven win, one loss, one draw, or, or you can say X1-1. One, one. Um, I was able to play day two. I was one win away. Unfortunately, I lost both of them. One was in time, and then the other one, my opponent got super lucky, but yeah, I'll tell you guys all the matches later. Um, but yeah, let's get started from the main deck. Um, uh, main deck, extra deck, and then uh, side deck, and I'll tell you guys my matches um, after the end, and then shadows at the end as well. Alright, let's get started with the deck profile, you guys. <clears throat> uh, two golden lore. Um, I feel like this is perfect too. Uh, three is okay. Um, I just break three, and also uh, you can uh, shuffle back Rebellion if they banish a card, or um, like especially Mary J on DD Crow or that trap card. Um, yeah, so two perfectly fine. Two Fallen, uh, two was perfectly, um, um, fine as well, um, really good card. Two Albion, really good, uh, search your branded fusion fast as possible. Uh, that's the monster lined up. And then for the hand traps, three, uh, Ash Blossom, really good card. Two, three, I meant three, uh, um, DD Crow, really, really, um, uh, very key card. I feel like this was literally... The best hand traps of my deck. Um, everything is staple like Imperm and also um, yeah, Imperm and uh, Ash. Well, yeah, DD Crow caught people off guard. Not two. I feel like three is perfect. Um, if you draw play two, uh, I I don't know because I want to see the consistency. Um, so I play total nine hand traps and then uh, three Imperm, the staples. Um, to be honest, not gonna lie, I literally uh, won only two dice roll and then the rest I lost. Um, these, these were the hand traps, um, sometimes I draw this, this, or this, this combination. Uh, th these were, like, perfect, um, I'm, I'm so happy with the results, and, yeah, I wouldn't change any of the hand traps at all. Um, there's a couple more hand traps in the side deck, but, yeah. And then now for the spells, uh, three Brenner Fusion, really good card. Uh, get your Golden Lord, um, fast as possible, and then you're gonna have multiple monsters. The thing I like about the deck is that you're playing with traps, and also a bunch of monsters, so make the deck faster. Uh, three extra, uh, really good draw two cards. I would play Potsperity. Um, I didn't have the money. Like I, I, I had the money, but I don't want to spend like a hundred dollar plus that card's gonna reprint. I would play if I have them, or um, I don't want to ask people to borrow it. But uh, draw, draw two random cards is good. And also, um, sure the Potsperity you can like uh, look at the, the top uh, six. But, um, but you get to select, but I personally like to two, hard draw two cards, um, cause like, two cards better than one, but, and a day, um, is personal preference. Then, two curse Ellen, uh, three is too much, uh, I feel like two is personally, um, fine, um, from my opinion, but, yeah, um, wouldn't change the ratio. And then, one call by the grave, this card is really good, um, please spend this card, this card is ridiculous. And yeah, that's all the spells lined up. I believe that's nine um, spells. Now for the traps, three Sanguine, that's search the Golden Lord, three Condusador. Uh, this is the one uh, pop a face up card while you control um, Golden Lord. And then two Hawk Quarrel. Uh, this, this is actually pretty good um, up against the uh, Despia matches. So I guess some sorts of a little bit. Um, but yeah, I would probably play a third one. So yeah, uh, this was perfectly good. And then one uh, Golden Fiber. I know people say, "Oh, don't play this card." This is an Omni Negate. If you have this or like a Curse Elven, your ending board is a Mary Jade, Mary Jade Golden Lord, and then a, a Lobelion. Um, this is way too strong. Like, not gonna lie. Like, sure, it can be a brick card. It's not like recyclable, but like you're playing four Solemn Judgment. So, yeah, I I don't want to lose to like Harvey Feather Duster. There's some people main deck some like weird stuff. This one, my Mystic Mind. Dark Ruler no more, like any card you can think of, like, um, even the brick board, so, yeah. 
and then the the very skillful card, uh, Skill Drain. Uh, the scores have three. I don't I don't know why, but you got to play. Um, you flip this, your opponent doesn't have outs. You're guaranteed gonna win most of the time. And then three dimensional barrier. Uh, I may nick the, this because uh, against the Despia matches and also the Sword Slow. Literally, this was the key card. Um, I see a lot of people main deck, um, side decking this one. That's um, it's personal preference as well. If you're going first, you see this card. 90% you're gonna win um, most of the time. So dimensional barrier, it like to put them um, in a clock that turn one. So um, either you win next turn or like a turn after. So yeah, then three rivalry. Uh, I expected Despia. Um, I did play against uh, four Despia players. Uh, I'll explain more afterwards. Uh, this is really good. Good against uh, uh, Dragon um, deck, Dragon Link or something like that, or the Punk Engine. Uh, so also slow them down and yeah then three uh, golden match uh, against the uh, sword so matches um i think that's all mainly focus on this deck um that i built it uh basically beat sword so and despia and it's good against sky striker too so i did play um i did draw in this uh against sky striker uh total 45 cards i know people like 40 or 41 like to be honest this format like literally so many random cards um but yeah i try to make the deck 40 but unfortunately i can't i just want to play all the good cards now for the extra deck one link spider one nightmare phoenix the state bows uh the package um goose on max and then rail cannon um i made this a uh, couple of times and then rail cannon i don't think i did i made a single one unfortunately uh three um Alibion. sorry about now remember these guys name Alibion. uh three mary jane the staples and then uh, three labellion as well uh, i see people play uh three to two of this because they're playing the um prosperity i will if you if you're playing extra half you must play this because you don't want to banish this because like what if you banish your um your uh Alibion and then turn out you can make Mary Jane. Um you can still make Mary Jane with this with three thousand defense and then a shuffle back uh two or a shuffle two or um shuffle this and then make a free Mary Jane as well. Still the same thing, the only difference is that you won't make a cool play, but yeah. And then one of this guy, I, I don't know what's his name, let me check. Um one uh do 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 Alibo or something like that. Um, this, I was mainly prepared for the Dragon Link, um, the Punk Engine, um, I didn't know, uh, if you said Fallen Albas, you can contact Fusion, it's, that's pretty broken, I almost did that to somebody, um, unfortunately that didn't resolve, but, yeah, and like, you just beat them out, and then one Titanic Clan, um, going for the OTK, or, um, uh, put a lot of pressure, cause, um, you summon this, they can't respond to it, um, it's only that one turn, that one turn can make a big difference, and you become really big, I think he'd become like uh probably 25 35 35 30, 3900 i think that's the most you need up to 3900 um yep and yeah i wouldn't change anything at the extra deck i feel like it was uh perfect on my opinion um yeah let me know what you guys think of the main deck and the extra deck and then i'll show you guys the side deck right now um the side deck is three love golem really good staples uh I think I drew this like maybe three or four times. Um, pretty good. Uh, just like destroy. I would not play Spear Mode because people like can try to play around Spear Mode, but um, it's really hard to play against. Uh, play around Lava Golem. Usually people probably might not expect it. And the other hand trap, uh, two drone Lockbird. Um, stop the Drytron matches and stop the um, the Punk Engine as well. You put them in the clock, and yeah, I would play three, but I feel like two, um, are perfectly um fine for me. Um, you could play three, but like if you're like super lucky, um, probably play two, and then if you're not lucky, probably play three though for the consistency. But it's personal preference. Uh, the Necro Banshee and Zangoro. Unfortunately, I did not play no Char Brigade or Dragon Link. I did play against Dragon Link actually. You know, um, see this at all? Um, yeah, and yeah, these were really good. And I wish I played Flunder, but unfortunately, I did not play against no Flunder as well. 
three Solemn Judgment, really good card. Um, nothing explained. Uh, two anti spell. Uh, I feel like two is good. Uh, three can also work as well. Um, I just don't want to draw this card too many times because I'd rather see a, an extra different card. Um, just to see, but you have these two, like you're, you're winning for sure. Like it's so hard to break that. And then three uh, evenly match. Uh, perfect static card on um, this format always will be. Um, yeah, I drew this uh, probably once or twice. I wish I drew more, but it's okay. Uh, shout out to my friend Michael, um, D time or D timer. Uh, put the link down in the description or in the video, the right here on the left or the right side. But yeah, um, yeah, that's that's the deck. Um, let me know what you guys think or any questions. Feel free to comment. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and yeah, I'll I'll tell you guys um my matchup um afterwards, and yeah, I'll right, talk to you guys later. Peace.